Hello everyone, today we are going to start with chapter number 5th, fractions, problem set number 18, we are going to complete in today's video. So in today's video, we are going to learn about how to convert the given fraction into like fractions. Okay, now what are like fractions children? When we get the denominators same, okay, this is the give example from page number 24. So when the denominators are equal, same number, then we can say the fraction are like fractions okay so it is very simple you all have to just find the common number like over here they have given 5 upon 6 and 7 upon 9 what 6 3s are 18 and 9 twos are 18 so we get the denominators first and then same number you all have to multiply to the numerator now everything has been explained in the previous exercises problem set you all can check the a description box the link will be provided over there if in case you all are not able to understand here now let's start with the first sum from problem set 18 that is 3 upon 4 and 5 upon 8 now the first thing you all have to recognize whether the numbers are same okay now same in sense 4 ones are 4 we will not be able to get 4 in the table of Eight. Okay, whereas in 4's table we can get 2 that is 4 2's are 8. So what we will do is this is what we have done in the previous exercise also. So what we will do we will keep this fraction as it is and only convert the first one. Now conversion of first fraction means we have to multiply 4 with 2 and therefore to the numerator also multiply it with 2. 3 2's are 6 and 4 2's are 8. Okay. And over here it is already 5 upon 8. Okay. So you will see we are having the same denominators. Isn't it? Therefore 3 upon 4 and 5 upon 8 are like fraction. Isn't it easy? So, if you all have followed my previous exercises, you will be able to understand this very quickly. Now, the next sum is 3 upon 5 and 3 upon 7. Now, in 5, table 7 is not going to come and in 7, table 5 is not going to come. So, what we are going to do? We are going to multiply 5 with 7 and 7 with 5. So, that we will get 35 as the common denominator. So, 3 upon 5 multiplied with 7 so 7 3s are 21 and 35 over here okay same we will take this fraction and we will multiply it with 5 opposite numbers you will have to multiply so we will multiply it with 5 so 3 5s are 15 and 7 5s are 35 okay so the denominators are again same Got it? We have got the same denominators. Therefore, 3 upon 5 and 3 upon 7 are like fractions. And why they are like fractions? Because their denominators have the same numbers. Got it? Let's move on to the third one. 4 upon 5 and 3 upon 10. Okay. So, in 5's table, 10 comes. Isn't it? 5, 2's are 10. So, what we will do? We will keep this fraction as it is. We will not change it. We will only change one fraction by multiplying it with 2. So, multiply over here also with 2. So, 4, 2's are 8. 5, 2's are 10. And over here, this was already 3 upon 10. You will see we have got the same denominators. Therefore, 4 upon 5 and 3 upon 10 are like fractions. Got it children? Now let's move on to the fourth one. The fourth sum is 2 upon 9 and 1 upon 6. Okay. Now in both the tables... In 6 table 9 will not come and 9 table 6 will not come. So as I said very simple logic you will have to use. Multiply 9 with 6 and 6 with 9. So first write down the fraction. Okay. So with 9 we have to multiply it with 6. So 2 6 are 12. 
six nines are or nine six are fifty four. Okay, same we will take for the next fraction. Multiply it with nine. Okay, why we are doing this so that we will get a equal denominator. So six nines are fifty four. Same denominator, therefore. 2 upon 9 and 1 upon 6 are like fractions. Very easy method children. Don't try to get into writing the table and everything which has been explained in the textbook. It is lengthy method. But this is very easy method for you all. Now the fifth sum is 1 upon 4 and 2 upon Three. In 4 stable 3 will not come and 3 stable 4 will not come. So what we have to do? Cross multiply. Cross multiply means we have to multiply these numbers with each other. So into 3. So 1 3s are 3. 4 3s are 12. Same for this also. Multiply it with what? 4. Okay. Same number you all have to take for the numerator and denominator. This thing I have explained earlier also. 2 4s are 8, 3 4s are 12. Now the denominators are common. Therefore, the given fraction are like fractions. Now the sixth sum is 5 upon 6 and 4 upon 5. Okay, now in 6 table 5 will not come and 5 table 6 will not come. So what we can do is we will cross multiply these numbers with each other. So with 6 we have to multiply it with 5. Same number for the numerator also. So 5 5s are 25. 6 5s are 30. Same we will do it for the next fraction as well. But over here with 5 we have to multiply it with 6. Just ulta of these numbers you all have to do children. So 4 6 are 24. 5 6 are 30. Okay so denominators are same. We have got the denominator same. Therefore 5 upon 6 and 4 upon 5 are like fractions okay why they are like fractions because their denominators are same the terms for the denominators are same now seventh one is three upon eight and one upon six okay now in eight table six will not come same in six table eight will not come so what we can do we can take the fraction multiply it with six okay same again, I will explain you simultaneously. In 6 table, 8 will not come. Therefore, we can multiply it with 8 so that we will be getting the denominator same. Okay. Now, find the fraction. 3, 6 are 18. 6, 8s are 48 or 8, 6 are 48. 8, 1s are 8. 6, 8s are 48. Okay. So, again, the denominators, we have got it same therefore 3 upon 8 upon sorry not upon 3 upon 8 and 1 upon 6 are like fractions got it now the eighth sum is 1 upon 6 and 4 upon 9 okay now in 6 table 9 will also not come and the 9 stable 6 is not going to come. So, again the same trick. Multiply it. Or what you all can do is in the textbook they have explained it in the, this way children. You all can write the multiples. But it takes lot of time. So, this is a simplest way to find. Okay. Just we have to multiply it. Or you all can write the multiples also as it has been given in the textbook. Both the methods are same. Okay, only we are not writing the multiples over here. In the textbook, they have given the multiples. That's the only difference. So, 1 nines are 9. 6 nines are 54. 4 upon 9 multiplied with 6. So, 6 fours are 24. 6 nines are or 9 six are 54. Both the denominators, we have got the same Therefore, 1 upon 6 and 4 upon 9 are 
like fractions if you all haven't watched my earlier uh, problem set from this chapter that is 17 this exercise also i have explained children in detail so that uh, problem set 18 will be much easier for you all there is no other exercise given only this the link will be provided in the description box if you all want to check it you all can check it over there and then okay, then you all can solve the problem set number 18 so see you in the next video till then take care bye